Since this coast any Hashio, how you hurt this racist com uh, company, which technically it is, it's a corporation, but how you hurt this racist country, it's hurt them with economics. If all the indigenous people of America, this this good old copper tone, this red skin. If you can relate, if you owned your own, been self-sustainable, living off your land, the colonizer wouldn't even exist. Remember, we taught them how to eat, how to bathe, the whole nine. Take your power back. You don't need their crops. You got your own crops. You hurt them in the economy, they're going to act right. They're going to think that you're more than just cattle. See, uh, because my people don't read, I mean, it breaks my heart because I, for years I've been talking to people about knowledge itself and they just swore I was the devil. It's in the Constitution that you're not even human. But I'm cool with that because I know I'm God. So instead of saying that I'm not, that I'm not human, they just, they look at it as your property. And as long as you're not claiming a nation or don't have a tribe or a nation backing you, you are literally cattle. You are owned by the corporation of the United States of America. Uh, many Moors and many woke people have been saying this for years, 10 plus, 20 plus years. But I guess it take for the uh, for more indigenous black people to keep getting shut uh, shot down in the street. I also want to say this: How do you stop a bully from bullying you? Do you march? Do you march to the principal's office peacefully? Do you march home and tell your mama or your dad that you're being bullied? I know how I deal with my uh, oppressors in school. I beat they ass. I used to get jumped in elementary school. I went to a white school. I used to get jumped every fucking day. Excuse my language, but I'm very passionate right now. For real. These boys used to wait for me at the doors when I used to come out. And uh, enough was enough. I fought back. It was like six of them. Knocked out like at least two to three of them. And at the end of that day, they became my best friends. You're not going to, uh, you're not going to march your way out of this shit. We didn't march ourselves into oppression. We was put into oppression by blood. We're going to free ourselves by blood. Man, you you people do one more march and I'm done with y'all. I'm already I'm already off the grid. You people do one more march. This is a dumb one with y'all. What are y'all accomplishing? Who is funding your march? Because a lot of these people have jobs, and now they're marching for what? And as you're marching. From here to Washington, D.C., we still being murdered. We still killing ourselves. And we still, letting, we still letting the colonizer to do what they want with us. Please show me pros and cons of the benefits and the benefits of marching. Marching for freedom. I never seen it in the history books. I never seen Rome do. I never seen no European march for freedom. But we are. Nah, B. It's time to activate. It really is time to activate. I'm, I'm so sincere about this. Start sun gazing. Start knowing thyself. Start going to the range. 
Start working on martial arts. Start teaching your children mathematics. Let's go, man. Otherwise, I'm gonna wash my hands with y'all. Straight up. I've been working with zombies for years. I'm not debating no more. If you can't open up your eyes and not see what we've been saying to you for years, yeah, it's probably not meant for you in this lifetime to wake up. Maybe next lifetime. Or stand on the sidelines. You're not helping. You're not helping your people. You're not helping your children. You're not helping yourself, baby. Peace to the planet. Though I'm passionate and feel some type of way, um, 